good cool. Good morning, people of the interwebs. Webs of the inter. For a little jolly today. And um, yeah, going for a jolly, might as well, because I don't think you've got much else to do if you sat watching this. So yeah, anyway. This lot's going to a new home. Uh 14 ton uh, uh two bowsers and uh, a dumper. Quick swill of the truck because it's like really dusty. And as long as you don't look too close, it actually looks clean, but it's nice. It's absolutely rancid because they've been running out of a landfill site for the last two and a half, three weeks. So, sun's coming up and it's going to be absolutely glorious. Right, come on then. Look, we've got some new ramps. I'll have to test them out later if I get a chance. Um, not those yet. Right, this, um, let's get out here. News flash, guess who's up to date on their paperwork? That's right, me. Actually managed to come in the lorry this morning and not have to write a single ticket. No shit, I haven't actually. Balls. I haven't done that one. Anyway, it'll have to wait till later, won't it? <laughs> oh, well done, must get ahead of yourself. Right, let's, um, we're not going far, we're going down to, um, where are we going? Down by Cowbridge. Down by Alandavri, by the airfield. Some of you might know it, some of you might not. So, I owe an apology because I haven't gone through none of the comments. Um, I am replied to absolutely nothing. I think I've read most of it. Um, and obviously the one, the last four I've just put up uh, were from about six weeks ago. Six, seven weeks ago. Um, and the reason I've done them like I was simple fact, I just, well, I just let the camera run and just, you know, that is what it is. Can you see me, buddy? I don't know. I don't know. Why do I look like that, buddy? No. Let me move you. You stopped. Um, yeah, so apologies for that. Um, I've been exceptionally busy, ridiculously busy. Uh, my missus now thinks I live in work and visit home, which to be fair is quite true. Um, why does that look so dark up in that corner? Oh. <gasps> yeah, so apologies for that. I will get everything caught back up. Um, I've just been like really busy. I've had uh, the bulk on for the last, uh, I think I've had it on for about the last 12 years. That's what it feels like anyway. But um, it hasn't been that long, even though it feels that long. And the job's not, it can be a bad little job. It's just like I said, toddler syndrome, isn't it? Ooh, shiny. So yeah, right, we'll get that out of the way. So uh, apologies for that. I will get it up to date. The bloody weather's been nice though. It's been spiffing marvellous, spiffing marvellous old chap. God damn! They had some cucumber sandwiches on the veranda the other day. Ha ha! Oh god. I'm absolutely knackered, I. And it's only Thursday. Oh, it's just not enough hours in a day at the moment. I think I've been starting at like five in the morning and uh, finishing at. Well, some night like seven, eight o'clock at night. Oh, just like the good old days, you know what I mean? The good old days. What do you mean sleep? I had three hours last week, I'm perfectly fine. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, come on, let's go, is it? Uh, I don't know, we'll chat later or something. Uh, there's a pile of questions, like I said, i got to go and have a look at and stuff and answer, and I just, I haven't. I've been very, um, I can't say lazy as such, but uh, preoccupied, you know. Don't know if I'm going this way. I'm not sure if there's a weight limit on this road. Actually, oh well, 
and it, the way I'm going, I, this is a new road. The actual road used to come in on is up by there now on the left. I didn't know this road was here. Um, if you go further up, the old road we used to go in on is a weight limit on it now. It's a pain in the arse, it makes it really narrow. It's only like um, a small lane it is. Uh, now I make it. Now I make it. Now I understand it. Oh, it's much easier. Otherwise, you've got to go all the way down into Barry around St. Athens. And it's a bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, right, and that's a bit there was the old road. Ha ha! Every day is a school day, children. Every day is a school day. Oh, so much easier to come in this way. down here. I know the area, but I haven't been to this um, company down here. Hopefully it won't be too hard to find. It's on the, on the airfield, or just by the side of it. All I am hoping is it's somebody there, because i got quite a bit on today. We shall see. Oh, and my good friend John. Mr. Aston. Passed me earlier. When I spoke to him the other day, he said, I don't even get a mention anymore. I, I'm not in any of videos, so... Hello, John. Just for old time's sake. It'd be nice if he made an appearance again with me. Mainly for the fact that he's one of the better ones to load machines for me. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to take my fever stuff this morning. I can feel it playing up already. Not good, people, not good. And the tree pollen I suffer terrible with. Ah, right. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, we normally come in from the right on this junction, and it literally takes you through a small little lane. And it's a real pain in the arse as well, but I'm sure there's, yeah, there's a weight limit on it now. In fact, you can just about some parts get the lorry down the lane with the bushes rubbing on the side and yet that's a pretty much a main road Alex says this is the good bit right what's the name of the company I'm looking for I think that's the way you still go into it. There's a big company down there called Harris Pie. You do a bit of work for them. Um, massive uh, company. I do believe they were big into making oil rigs and stuff like that. I bet you there's nobody in this. They've got a security ad, and I bet you there's nobody in there. I'll put money on it. Nope. Right. So we want. Oh. Uh, unit 10A of Aerial Storage, Real Business Park. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, where are you two going? See? Hey, what well, good security act if nobody's in it? Never understand that. Okay, right, let's look for the storage unit then. Storage yard. Storage yard! Don't think it's up here. Oh, uh, right, it's um. Well, I suppose we better ask someone, I suppose. Dun, dun, dun. Apparently, it's down by you somewhere. <laughs> but, I'm not sure where. The sign did just say Unit 10, so. Where the hell are you? Oh, I bet you're on the other side with there now. You watch. There it is. Oh, this don't look good, people, does it? Don't look good. Don't look good. Units out. Oh, I'm a bit confused. I am a bit confused, people. A bit confused. Should we keep going and see what happens? Well, the worst case now, I've got to reverse out, don't I? So I suppose there is only that about there. But it's not too narrow. It's not too narrow yet. Oh, I think I've come... Ah, hang on. Well, let's just... Ah, that's 10. So... Well, that's 10C. Hey, 10CC. Well, I want... Ten. Right, I think this is it. Da da. Um, yes, it's always good when you got really well signed written premises. Oh well.
I have no idea what you're going to see on the back of that trailer when I just put the camera up. It's a good chance, nothing. So, well done, Russ. We'll have to have a look. Um, if you didn't see her, we actually picked up a 21. Drop the machines off down in Landavry. Um, met two guys down here, they made me chuckle fair play, but they really did. That's what you want in the morning, a bit of a chuckle. Oh, come on, girl. So, we picked that up, and we're going to go back there again now, drop uh, another machine off. And then um, down to. We're off to see a D and the gang. So, yeah, meeting some nuts. Apologies. But uh, nuts are good for you. They're high in proteins and they help you poop. They do. <laughs> Information, eh? Whoa! <laughs> ah, well, never mind. Alright, okay, so we're gonna whip this off up here. Um, what am I gonna put on? I've got the three done dump there. Uh, another 14 ton machine. Um, and a water bowser. Should stop stuff in my face, shouldn't they, really? So, beautiful day. It's scorching 8 degrees already, 10 o'clock in the morning. I think they forecast 18 degrees today. Summer. Oh, yes. I can see you, Summer. So, oh, I tell you what, the Jabba Pips have had me today. Spending too much time on my own. Uh, uh, machines are taken down, they've been sold. We, um, out with the old kit, in with the new kit. I think we've got some new ones turning up soon. And uh, they've done their time with us, so they're off to pass this new. I'm sure that. Those two machines, well, the two machines, I think they've got Island, the boy was just saying. the morning into your lab. If you see a machine for Rob Morrison, it, it, it was me. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, well. Let's get this off. Um, we'll have a quick couple up here as well. Because, um, because I can. And because I deserve one. Because I is awesome. That's right. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Order. So that's what we picked up. It's actually quite clean as well for the where it's come from. <laughs> Mats, a bit bloody heavy as well. Put them on on your own. A new little wash boy. Um, can't remember his name. It's a bit bad, that is really, to say, you know. So we're gonna. Get Jakey to come round because he's got a nice new little toy to play with. He's going to lift them off and then we're going to take that off. Hopefully it'll be nice and easy, he says. We have Jake with his new little toy. Look at him go. Look at the beast performing. Look at him. Look at him, look at him smiling. He's like a dog with two, um, two willies. <laughs> the IQ of a goldfish though. First challenge on his new machine, let's see if he can put the forks through my trailer bed. Oh, I'll watch this now. It's like a monkey with a... With a nut and you can't crack it. <laughs> broke it already. Two minutes you've had any broke it. Well we've we done that. It's like one tell Simon. Jake, why didn't it work, what? What didn't it do, Jake? Safety on the seat. 
looking for a seatbelt on a prat. Wow. And they trust this boy with machines. Scary. Come on then. So the plan is he's going to go up the ramps, extend the ramps out and slip under there. Which I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. It's hard work putting them on on your own. Don't look at me, concentrate on A. Take the forward one. Stand me out, it's about. Oh, he's making a high falls up at this time, this. Outside, you're going to bring the trailer back. Right. 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 Extend it out. Jump forward. Right. Jump forward. Come on. Set. Yay! Look at the concentration on that face. Just there. Boom! That's why you're my number two, Jake. Number one, my ass. Um, put him around them. Put him around the back. Around there, right? Two count threes. <laughs> Chuck him around there. All right, let's get this off anyway. Um, yeah, chuck him around there, right on the side. Look at them. A new yard boy over there, right? Um, yeah, we've had a we've had a few of them turn up here. They don't last five minutes, and the way they go, I mean, he's pretty good. That lad is. Doesn't say it much. Just quietly gets on with everything. Doesn't question it. Just does it. Yeah, just reverse it right back up in the big head. Go on. Slowly. I'll do. Are you me? Oh, it's chaos. It's unleashing the chaos. Yeah, fair play, good lad. Just gets on with it, no messing around. Doesn't matter if it's pouring in the rain, he just gets on with it. The other ones tend to turn up and uh, spend all day just messing around on their phones. Which is not really an option, you. Yeah? Too busy. Oh, look, my pole's done. Look at that, dumps a, t dumps a tire in front of my trailer and then says, can you move it? Well done, Paul. So I'm beeping will stop now. It's all done. Oh. Yeah, no, he's um so the boys have turned up, yeah, they're only youngsters. They do have a little go, okay? Get a bit excited for the first day or two because they might put the drive something around the yard and then um, that's it, they're, they're too good then, don't do anything else. A fair play to him, I can't remember his name, he's, I'll have to ask him now. He's been here about a month now and he just quietly gets on with everything, he's a good lad. And the thing is, I think if you can 
start from the bottom because that's where I believe we should always start and get your information in as uh, you know you start as your time goes on your knowledge and everything timber Slow and steady wins the race, or very dusty as this yard is. Oh, look at the mess I'm making in the yard. of a ninja. Don't know one ninja, but a ninja. Oh, I got the hand-eye coordination of Stevie Wonder. Sweeper of the yard this morning. Oops. Right, so we got for the next one. Um, that's sold. That's going to a job. And then you've got Jake, you can put it on for me. There's new toy. Look at him. Posing away. <laughs> right, we're going to get out here then. Um, Still got a bit to do yet. I got a van to pick up as well. I forgot all about that. Do. Sometimes, just sometimes, you get some really nice customers. Oh, no better. And I found some because these are cool. These people. I like these people. You want to know why? Guys on a machine. It's all private land before anyone starts. Strolls across. Doing a bit of diggy diggy. Drive. Have a drink. I thought, oh, happy days. You know, as you do. So, freezing cold. What's that? Um, Stove Ford Press, ale cider. Don't drink cider. Um, but anyway, can't fault that, can you? So I'll go in my fridge and we'll give that to one of the boys in the yard who I do know drinks it. And then also, sometimes, very nicely. Oh yeah. See, little things, little little things. Can't fault that, can you? You know what I mean? Literally have a drink and. Uh, Literally, um, have a bigger drink, so... Ah, so I put it in my fridge. That is not to be sniffed at. Thank you these people, super duper people. And they run a place called Vale Storage. So come on down and store your shit here. <laughs> Thank you. 
My head hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, I just had to go, just delivered that dumper, and I picked another dumper up, and it's at a school. So, I'm now stuck in the, um, the school run. Okay, it's not a problem. And obviously now traffic is now at um, back to full chaos levels. What, what the holy mother of is wrong with people? Did you have like a 12 month off? Completely forget out the drive 100%. The driving is absolutely appalling. I don't know if it's got worse or it's the fact that I kind of deluded myself and forgot about the old bad driving. It is diabolical. The, I, I've never seen anything like it. There's probably about 20 buses just turned up for the for the kids. And the coach drivers, or I say the coach drivers, the minibus drivers, the one nearly ploughed two people over, just flew around the corner like. <sighs> I could have a real massive rant about this, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna compose myself. Shall I do? I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep myself composed and dignified. I'm not gonna go off on a massive rant, even though I should go off on a massive rant, because I've just, I just witnessed a kid walk into a UPS van because he didn't see it, big brown van, and he walked straight into it. I, I, I was talking to my mate. And I just completely dumbfounded that the boy stepped across, he looked to his right, looked to his left, stepped across the road um, and walked straight into a UPS van which was parked up. <laughs> what? He wasn't, the boy wasn't on his phone or nothing. Uh, I don't know how old he was, he, oh, I don't know, 12, 13, something like that. Just walked straight into it. I just... My kids are not the brightest children. That I have no objection to admitting. Um, both my kids, in fact, have, um, are, um, um, they, what do they call it? They got some attention deficit disorders type of thing. Both of them. Um, my one kid is on one end and my other boy is completely on the opposite end so we've got two completely different um spectrums of, of what they are um and the one is slightly more severe than the other and wow i don't even think they'd walk into something like that the world is going mad people it, it is going mad i made a comment i said oh the, the world could do with a good pandemic to trim the herd a bit and some i can't think who it was but they weren't very happy about that I'm starting to think, really I'm starting to think, maybe, maybe, uh, like I said, and if you're offended by that, I, I don't really care because I don't mean it in a harmful way. Unfortunately, my many, my short stint of five years in the army will have given me a sense of humour that a lot of people will not understand. So yeah, but I'm convinced the world has become duller really am convinced that the world has become so dulled down that people just can't use a brain cell or think for themselves anymore and they've got no consideration on the bloody roads Ooh, sir. <sighs> right anyway we swap the dumpers now we're going to go to uh, Gavin Griffiths' yard down in uh, down the road, Billy. 
uh, pick up a van which was dropped down there a couple of months, couple of months, uh, oh, probably about two months ago. Pardon me, because we, uh, we were doing a job down in Milford Haven, but it's finished now. So the boys were using the van to come back and forth. So we're going to go in there now. And i got to be fair, he got some nice kit on the road, look, Gav. Very, very, very nice kit. Just had another um, S650 turned up, and I, I love him. Fair play. Love the colour scheme, everything. So, yeah. Boss, if you want to you know, have a look at what he's running, maybe, you know, just saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, a couple of, quite a few of his articles are really nice, and they're well looked after. All the boys look after them, in all fairness. And they work night and day. Well, not night, but you know. Ah, where are you going? Yeah, and uh, fair play, see the one by up. Um, Tricati tip quite often, I think he's got, I think he got, I think it's a silver night he got. Um, and in fair play, you wouldn't even know we've been on the landfill site. You know if mine's been on the landfill site. Tag axles, very bouncy. Right, just uh, get out because I'm just waffling out of crap now. But that's nice to see people in the parks, you know what I mean? Bit of normality, really nice. I actually drove past a uh, football ground the other day, football ground, rugby ground, football. <laughs> um, and there was people out training, brilliant, you know, bit of normality. But for God's sake, learn to drive! Learn to drive, you! La la la, la 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 Is it that hard just to look around you, you know? Ooh, is something coming? Maybe I'll stop, maybe I'll give way. Ah! Consider other people! You... Find my zen. Find the zen. Oh, right. That's the van on. Um... Paper down. Right, I'll, um... Have a little look at this little peach by a. If I get in trouble, I get in trouble. I don't care. It's worth it. Um, yeah, the old old uh, Gav Gavin, I should say. I was told the first truck he bought was a Scania 143, and he just uh, bought the lorry back off someone, I believe. And I think it's going in for a restore. It was in the garage, but there, but it's gone now. Uh, but um, what was that? Of a dip, eh? Um, oh, hang on, keep going. Concentrate, rest, don't get excited. Yeah, look at that now. 143, 420. Sweet. Lovely set of twin stacks. I think, um, I don't know if he's restoring that one or he's using it to um, for parts for the other one. Like, I just don't know. This yard is massive. Fair play to him, it's huge. Yeah, look at that now. Oh! Tag axle. Oh, she's a sweet little girl, she is. She is a very sweet little girl. I don't want much in life. And what I love about this yard <laughs> is you come out, you tip off in there, you come out, there's the wash bay, look. All up on nice clean hard standing. Just saying, you know, just saying. Come in, wash the truck off, and fair play, the trucks are always clean and tidy. No matter what where you see them, they're always clean and tidy. Right, anyway, that's enough um enough of that now. It's a bloody nightmare getting out on here though. Come on. Can we get out? Yes, we can. Yeah, you've got to be a bit quick here to get out. Yeah, look at that. A nice bit of hard standing. Wash all the truck down. 
and then you park it up by the way bridge I'm assuming which is still clean there's no mess you can always tell when somebody comes from a transport background <laughs> makes it sound like I'm knocking my boss I'm not by any means at all yeah but um, yeah that, that 143 got the black one oh that's lovely that is she's uh, a right little sweetie seen a picture a couple of months back up on uh, Facebook he's, uh, I do believe he's having it restored I'm sure somebody will uh, correct me if I'm wrong anyway what I just said yeah fair play you don't mess around when he buys his kit mine you don't half buy them and uh, spec them up I do love the bull bars on them as well painted red with the, the white uh, caps look really nice Anyway, I was hoping to be home early today, but um, that's gone clean out the window. I've just had the ball and chain on the phone. Um, not very happy because I'm going to be late again. Oh well. I need you to, uh, um, I need you find people to see something. It's not clever. Um, I can't find my other memory card. I was going to film what I'd done today, but I couldn't. So that's can't find my memory cards um, but uh, I was only in another land landfill site anyway with my half price tipper um, and I've come back to what can only be described as utter lunacy <sighs> it's taken me um, nearly oh, a good 30 minutes to calm down um, I, I can't even can't even comprehend the madness I'm seeing so my trailer went out with somebody because um, they wanted it to go and fix something up obviously that's why you normally put on one of these trailers um, so I prepped said trailer to go out I can feel my blood just boiling and I've only got a short bit of time left on this card so I'll have to get on with it I'm gonna have to show you people something which um, I can only describe as an act of just sheer lunacy. Okay, so when I when I whoop, when I roll a strap, it's rolled like so. Okay, hook out like that, nice and neat, so that um, it's easier to throw. And if you do throw it, uh, the hook don't basically smack somebody on the head. Oh, do you know why I'm shaking? Can you st This shit here, that's what creates serial killers, right? I can't even believe somebody would have the audacity to, to do that when you know, look, yeah, it was reasonably tidy in here, you know, all straps tidy. Uh, my head hurts. I can't even believe that this person done that to me. They think it's funny. I know they think it's funny. I'm seriously going to have to get amongst his ribs, the person who done that. You know, I'm going to have to go home now and have a severe stiff drink because that is just hurting my head. So, oh, you know, just looking at them, it's going to make my eyes bleed now in a minute. I can't, can't, just can't comprehend that. I will, Monday morning, that's it. I'll be straight up the office. Look, can't have none of this, this is just madness. But then again, he does pay my wages every week, so I think I'll have to lay him off when I see it was the boss who done it. But I know he thinks that's funny to me. So, Mr. Morris. Wow. That is savage. That is really savage. It took the mick out of him a bit because he's driving a manual lorry and I know he struggles a little bit with a manual lorry. Mm. <laughs> Does that to me. I think that's below the belt. Wow, oh, look at it. It's going to wash a lorry, not much point really, is it? Anyway, I'm going to go home and cry and drink heavily to numb the pain and hopefully my uh, 
my mind will forget about it.